Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, this is what I'll be snacking on tonight. I don't know if you can see it, but this is my preferred chocolate that I eat every night. Um, I hope we're in focus. Um, all right, so w would you like a piece of chocolate? Yeah, I actually would, but I don't want to bug them the whole time eating, but I'll have a little bite. Okay. That chocolate nugget thing you had yesterday was really good too, the one with the hazelnut. Do you and want the... some of that? Eventually. Maybe for the next episode? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cheers to Enjoy. season two. I can't believe we're getting stuff for your fashion show. That's so crazy. I know. I'm Roxy's glove. Oh my god. Arrow. <laughs> yep, we brought arrows back for season two. Crazy. We have to do the model casting. We have to decide on the hair and makeup looks. We have to decide the run of show. The music needs to be chosen. Cutting swatches. <laughs> the easiest part. I know. It's just really Her bra. Doing it along with two other designers. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to meet with them and I feel like they already probably have all of this done. And I'm You're like, uh, hey lady. <laughs> Filming a hit TV show here. I found out literally a week in advance. In a week, it's going to be the beginning of your like entire fashion. A week in advance of a fashion show is a crazy amount of time. How are you going to pull it together? How right? am I going to pull it together? This is so unrealistic. You can do it. Whew. You just need to cut some swatches. What but are you I designing remember, your clothes? remember we were up all night. Are you making? Yeah. I, I wasn't actually sewing the clothes. There was a seamstress, but I was telling the seamstress what shape to make everything, giving her all the instructions. Wait, you don't even have the clothes designed? You're supposed to do a fashion show in a week? And I, you're like cutting fabric for the clothes that are going to go into the Yeah, fashion. we were stitching clothes up until like right before the show. Dang, you're going to have some insight in this episode. Mm-hmm. <sighs> No new open. No, we didn't get Aaron on top of a building with the wind in her hair. Damn. Ooh, we're back at L. Is it her or is it her? Oh, Ooh, she's got hair. dark hair. It looks good. But really, like, because of the way they ended season one, there's absolutely no time difference from the beginning of season two. It's not like six months later or anything mm. like that. It's just the next day. Mm. Everyone looks very different, though. Hi. Hey, can you close the door? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to be mean to you. <gasps> A chance to talk to you at all since this whole entire today show fiasco Ooh. and this is intolerable you guys sit in my office and you give me an ultimatum i mean what the hell is going on but i don't come to work and bicker with robbie i don't come here and bicker with people that's not how i work I'm you know not, we come I'm not here, here to do the job bicker with anyone but i do not think it is appropriate for her to speak to me or anyone else in this magazine the way she does it is unacceptable she is a publicist she talks like this. She has, I think, maybe like a bottom retainer. Oh, like you. Yeah. I always wanted one, then my tooth would be straight. I don't want any of the bull. This is bull. Neither do you I. and Aaron are having this thing going on. You know, but Aaron has been here for a longer period of time, Olivia, and I all those things. That. Hold on, let me finish. I just yes, finally. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Let me speak to Robbie. I think maybe potentially we can maybe separate you and give you something different to do with the magazine. And I think you did take the higher road here. And I don't want an ultimatum. And I will speak to Aaron separately about this. Right. But at the same time, I need you to try to make amends. I don't care what you do. Take her out to coffee. Okay. Just get out of the office and work it out. Okay. So someone really got to jump and was like, you need to lay down the law. Yeah. Basically, it, I, it feels like the producers are like, don't let them take advantage of you. Like... Right. Show them who's boss. Whitney's pattern maker. Oh Tell my god, this was thinking. so crazy. So we I were like really this. in the heart of the fashion district in New York. In the fashion district, there's all these different companies like this who will fulfill all your production and do just like really small runs of things. But this um, lady was helping me make just one of everything because for the fashion show you only need really one of everything so she was helping me design all my pieces for my fashion show or she was like bringing my visions to life i was giving her sketches and explaining things to her and bringing her fabrics and whatever supplies she needed and she was making it all there you go that's how it works Hi. I remember these ladies. Yeah. This is Roxy. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, I feel like I stressed her out so much. Muslin. 
What's muslin? <laughs> muslin is like basically that canvas material they make it first uh -huh. and then they cut the fabric on top of it. All these pieces, do you think that they will be done by Tuesday? It's very hard, but we will try our, our best. I see they um, still have the fake music going on. It's very hard, but they're going to try their best. They really did work so hard. Ooh. Oh, Seth. Remember this dude? <gasps> yeah. How are you doing? Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a big day. Okay. We have the Diamond in Furstenberg open house from 9 to 11. I'm going to be with my breakfast, so can you make sure that I can get there? Yeah, I'll have a car for you waiting. Okay. Um, you've got Michael Kors. Michael's gonna be there. Yay, I love Michael. Same with Calvin at 11. But Oscar's at Oscar's a show. Oscar's a show, seated show. Anything else I need to know? Ooh, fashion week. Um, Doesn't it sound like a fashion week? For sure, yeah, I mean, definitely feels for like sure. that. Fashion week. Okay, because I'm going to get Okay, and Joe's outside. Oh, good. All right. Like, all right, I'm gonna put that pencil back in my ear now. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, really quickly, Olivia and Aaron were working on the Today Show and personality clashes. I mean, this is an ongoing thing with the girls. But I don't understand. I mean, Aaron is the senior person. Why would they have a conflict at all? Listen, I don't want any employee to ever dictate to us, like, you know what, it's her or me. I mean, wait, 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 where'd that come from? That came from Aaron. Oh my God, she's gonna call her right now. Really put her on the spot. Hi. Seth, can you get Aaron, please? Yeah, I'll yeah her. thanks. Bye. So it's like, um, I can do anything? Yes. What about trying to maybe use Olivia in a different capacity? Mm -hmm. One of the thoughts I had was maybe on .com. You know, I think we're trying to sort of build the site up even more. Mm -hmm. And why don't we try using her for some, you know, online videos? Maybe we start a fashion week. Right. Maybe the designers maybe backstage. Mm -hmm. after videos and interviewing are the things that she like so particularly did not do well at. Jessica, like, I have an idea. Let's, let, let's not have them work together anymore. She's like, well, doesn't one work in PR and the other one working in accessories? She's like, yeah. It's gonna be hard to keep them separate now. But yes, this, she's not good at interviewing. He shouldn't be doing this. What's this no. sheet on the door? Hey. Hi. Hi, Abby. So Aaron, I told Robbie about your ultimatum. Here. It was a heated discussion and I was frustrated. So you're not gonna go anywhere. I think that as long as she's on board and she's willing to kind of look outside the issues that she has with me, we'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Good, because you know, Joe had some ideas. I wasn't it, yes or no. Or try a video blog or something for L.com. She doesn't know a lot of these young designers, so maybe we start there and have her interview one maybe backstage during the shows. The thing is, we know how these things go, because once she's on camera, then people are going to want to talk to her. They're going to come through you. You're going to be booking interviews for Olivia. So oh my God, <sighs> this sounds like a horrible. Jessica, I have an idea. We're going to just like separate you guys in a way that brings you right back together. Where you have to now work for Olivia and make her popular. That should work out. <laughs> that should be good. That should be a good idea, right? What we want you to do is actually work for Olivia and you guys should get along great. Right? <laughs> this is comedy. Be great for the magazine, and I'm gonna going to do it. Okay, we're done. Oh, Bye. Robbie's like, I'm not Joe. I've got a shirt on my door. We're done. What was that shirt for? I don't know. There had to be a reason for it. It's like if the shirt's on the door, don't come in. <laughs> it's like I'm doing serious editing in here. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, I know everyone's totally crazy and you have less than a week. Where are you guys at, like, in your lineup? So far we've done our casting, or we're, like, in our third day of casting. We have that tomorrow. So the casting's what else is on I'm your checklist? Saying. We're doing our hair test Tuesday. Okay. And makeup we're doing today with Andrea. Your shoes are already done? All of our yeah. shoes are in our studio. Your shoes are not done? No. How many looks are you doing? Uh, I think we're trying to do 24. I don't you guys think 24 looks is much better than 22 or 21? I think the most important thing is that you don't just create looks to create looks. Right. I think you need to make sure the message is really strong. Uh, plus, this is your first time, so you really want to make sure it's yes. not sloppy and it's done right. And your second one, it's, it's kind of cool if your second one's really sloppy. That's always fun. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Have Bye, Whitney. Bye. Are you okay? Not really. Ooh. This is my first time doing this and I have so much to do. Let me tell you something, if this show doesn't go well, you're... 
I just get nervous that I'm doing this too early. You know what I mean? That I'm just like jumping at this chance and people aren't going to understand my image or they're not. You have to be prepared for people to yeah. hate you. You know, average people love to be average because it, nobody bothers them. Well, I don't want to be an average person. Well, it would be crazy if you weren't terrified. I always use that advice for so long. I yeah. still do. Like sometimes I use that as like a quote when people ask me, what's one thing that someone has taught you that stuck with you? Like I've always tried to be like, Whitney, don't be afraid of failure because like if you just are always afraid of failure, you're just going to stay like this in your career. Like you're never going right. to take risks. And so that was one good nugget that really stuck with me forever. I totally agree with that nugget, but like, I don't really see a scenario where um, you do a fashion show and someone hates you. Not hates me, but doesn't take me seriously as a designer. Right, but like, I get that. But like, she was like, yeah, like you're gonna do this and you have to be prepared for some people to hate your, hate your guts. Yeah, no, that's like, nobody's gonna be like, warranted. I f hate Whitney, that dress. Right. Like. So obviously it's spring and it's bright and colorful. You're BBMing me there. For sure. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. So a casting director is the person that helps you cast all your models and make sure that you have like kind of a cohesive look or like you're representing everybody. You know, they're really making sure that they hire the girls that have the essence of your collection. It's like I like what you're doing. What's like the average age? This season? 14 to 17. Um, I'm not kidding. Can we see you walk, please? Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm so happy to be working with you. Can you grab me a chair? Yes. Where's your yes pile? On the board. Oh, very organized. Those girls are great, man. Yeah. They're really, really great. Okay, so the pattern. Okay. Made right now, I'm enlisting a pattern maker to do the extra couple pieces. Okay. Do we want to do any slower songs or no? Can I ask you? A oh my God! Oh my God, Roxy! Oh my God! Don't talk loudly. Hey, you're downstairs. If you need me, Roxy, pay attention. Tired. Fashion week, man. Cool. It's gonna be a circus back there. So I need you to literally fight your way to the front, get the questions asked, you know, get her answers. Can you do it? Yeah. You can do it. All right, well, good luck. Oh my God, Erin is like physically ill. Yeah, she cannot deal. She looks like she's about to throw up. There I am. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. my God, dude. <laughs> There's the back of my head. Cool. Oh my God, I can see. That, that's how you move your head. Hi, Anna. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Olivia. Nice to meet you. you. Do you mind answering a few questions? No, do you? Okay, great. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, thank you very much. Well, congratulations on your collection. Thank you. I'm going to Thank you. I'm going to Thank you. And so I thought, okay, I'm doing a collection like that. Well, fantastic. And with the, such a big year, you won the CFDA Lifetime Achievement Award, and I was there, and it was amazing. So. Thank you. I think it renewed my love in what I do, yeah. and really reminded me of why I was doing this, why I'm working so hard. It's just like, it's, it's what I love. That's wonderful. And you just say hi to L.com for us. Hi, I'm Anna Sui. Hi, L.com. <laughs> thank you, and thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank and you. thank you very much. Shit. Thank you, and let me add thank you very much. I just want to add a little bit of, to that. Um, uh, she, I think the, stor the story is, are you doing her? Thank you. Thank you, and thank you very much. <laughs> do you, I think the story is that she killed it. Yeah, I do, but uh, like the way you asked that was impressive. so not it. impressive. I'm sorry. Those are white leggings. Those are white <laughs> leggings. Those are legit white leggings. Hi. Hi. Hi, Michelle. How are you? We wanted to see the rest of the pieces. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't think, to be honest, you'll feel at ease until the show's over. Yeah, probably. That's true. Okay. 
This looks beautiful, Michelle. This is gorgeous. That looks great. <laughs> that was a really pretty dress. It was like a crinkle chiffon with a little bit of sequin right here oh, inside. Ooh, right inside the, the dress, bib zone. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit too short, but it was a really pretty dress. You can be that fabric and not stretch. The lace leggings? Yeah. The fabric doesn't work? Doesn't work. Okay. I love those leggings. Yeah, they need to make a lace legging because they're going underneath the jacket. Do you think that there's anything over here that I could use for the lace leggings? Yeah. Would these work as a legging? Is it really sheer? Like, I mean... I mean, no, I'm just saying. Do you mean no, I'm just saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. This yeah. will work? Yeah. Do you think that you could cut the pair of leggings in this? But tomorrow you have pressure so I know. Oh. I need to have these done by tomorrow. Have no choice. Talk to me. You're having thoughts and feelings? Yeah, that wasn't real. They like needed us to create some sort of story. But I, because I would never try to find fabric just like in her suit. Is there, like, is there any <laughs> fabric? Oh, here's some. Can, can you make it out of this blanket? She's like, I don't know. The fashion show is tomorrow. And you're like, but it, need, it needs to happen. Okay. We will do it. We will do it. There's the <laughs> leggings aren't working. I can find uh, some fabric samples here at this pattern maker store. Here, please use this. I've, it's in my purse. Make it into a legging sample. Can you mm. make my hair into a legging by tomorrow? Try this. <laughs> you must. You must use my hair. I will go bald. But no, everyone will hate you, Whitney. It's fine, the leggings are going under a jacket. And they must, here, use it, everyone. Off the rails, off the rails. You're going off the rails? We've gone off the rails. Erin has been having a seriously depressed season opener. Ugh, I'm so thirsty right now. Oh, babe, check this out. Oh, is it sparkling? No, it's flat. Oh, Whitney, do you not even want it? I do. I'm so thirsty. My mouth is a desert. Oh my god, do you and know? Life is a highway. <laughs> I'm gonna ride it all night long. Yeah, we know the rest of the line. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh my god, look at that huge pressure of ice tea. Are you done drinking? Oh my god, she's. St are you still two handing it? This cup is so big. Babe, look at how a man drinks. <laughs> <sighs> Look at how man drinks. Sorry, everyone I know, we're all women here. It's gonna be so upset with me. Oh, okay. So I think that we kind of started off on the wrong foot, and I just think that we can probably work together and do a lot of great things for the magazine. And I thought you did a good job with the Anna Sweet. Told you. That's very sweet of you. I would really love nice. to together going forward, and I think that for me, all I'm asking is to have have communication a little bit more open and I think the best at what we do and yeah I really do definitely so let's put um quick tidbits to that mirror yeah Gary put it there for sure oh. behind us and, and just move forward and start fresh cool. Aaron doesn't seem to be taking this seriously yeah me too yeah they're all just playing some game with the producers, basically. Aaron's like, all right, well, this season, like, I'm just going to be like, yeah, let's be a great team. Yeah. And, like, watch, like, Olivia do dumb shit and have someone else call her out uh -huh. and just say, I told you so. Uh -huh. Oh, my God, my fashion show. I think this is where you met my family for the first time. For sure. She should be in here right now. Let's I mean, Oh, my God, there's Paige. Paige. Happy birthday, Paige. Paige's birthday. This week. Your mom. My mom. She looks beautiful. Yeah. Just tell me, was this real? Like, yeah. Okay. For sure. This it's craziness backstage before the show. What was your mom doing? My mom, Wasn't steaming, I don't know. Right? I told her she had to steam from the inside. Oh my God. I mean, for, who taught her how to steam? Helene? Baka. 
People are filing in. Yeah, it was so full. Standing rooms. Amy Ashley's now the editor of Architectural Digest, which we learned Aaron is the publicist oh for. God. Hey guys. Uh, are you watching? Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. We had really good music, yeah. and now it's gonna suck. You because did have really good music. You know, you had, you had. She's like a rainbow. Yeah, the song. exactly. It was really good. And then the last song was, "I got this feeling on a summer day when she yeah, was gone. gone. I got this feeling to a bridge. I hope and let Before fly. that song had been played, a really like a lot. Yeah, you know, it was like it. exactly. I had such good music in my fashion show. You did. Yes, you're approved. Go fashion. Make me proud out there, girls. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh my god. I love a lot of this stuff. Yeah. I had these samples for so long. That like, was I sick. even think that was fun. Yeah. Those were leggings. Oh, I love that dress. That dress is amazing. And then it had an open back. Are they going to show it? The open back was the best. You guys, come on, what is going on? Oh my god. I don't care who's out. Just go for the next one. We don't care over here. Over here. Ugh, okay, we're still doing a show. Good, oh my god. Go left. Are you ready for the finale? Go for the finale? Oh, here you come. Oh my god, that's this. <laughs> Standing of ish. <laughs> oh my goodness. You that was awesome. Everyone looked great. It was so good. Yeah, it went so fast. One of the most gorgeous people thing. loved it. It was amazing. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Mwah. Hi there. Aww. Aww. I really closed my eyes and hugged them. Where's my mom? Our page. I just really wanted to say, like, you don't really get that many opportunities to come to a place like this and have this kind of moment. And when I was your age, I was always in such a hurry trying to be cool that I missed the moment, you know? And I just want you to look around and see what you've manifested for yourself in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. It's really happening. I would have been there without you, though. Yeah, you really would have. This is your destiny. You made this happen. It's true. I have full body chills. Good thing you're wearing a silk night nightgown. That's nice, What'd Kelly. What did she say? Is she crying? Did Kelly not have her family? She had a hard go at it. And she, I mean, I've told you, she was really close with my dad. I mean, what, why I asked her to speak at his memorial. Wow, that was a great starter to a season. Good episode. Yeah. Um, Start with a bang, with a fashion show. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go into the, this season on, so okay. a lot of stuff to take in here. All right, let's do it. We'll take a girl to any hot spot in style. Women's Wear Daily! Woo! So do you know anything about this guest event? I know that Joe's hosting it. Is there any guests on you anywhere? Uh, not this evening. Are you kidding me? No, I'm kidding. I just expected that you would support the designer. Let's yeah. just move on. We are looking for a new person for L.com. Backstage. Louise Rowe. It's going to do a piece on you. That's so cool. Yeah. What if I brought Roxy? On the Roxy thing, just FYI. Oh my god, don't bring Roxy. I think I'm 
Yeah. Anthony's great, but I really just see you doing a lot more. Nice. You can trust me with this one. Don't lock down a look before I approve it. All right. This is my opinion. I like this one. It's ballerina, gone hooker. Where's Palermo? She doesn't want to support her line. Oh, she is such a little bitch. <gasps> Olivia is professionally dangerous to you. Olivia, tell me why you do not want to support my line. Oh. I'm a complete bitch. I am <laughs> tuning in. <laughs> Olivia and I go at it, y'all. What? This did you crazy. just get Southern? Yes. Exciting. Everyone should really want to tune into all the reaction videos that we're going to do. People should also catch up on all the old ones. So if you're just tuning in right now, you guys, you have so much exciting stuff to watch. Episodes one through... 29 million. Whatever it was. But we have a whole super long season. And now we're starting the second season. And it looks really juicy. <laughs> so subscribe subscribe and hit the bell because we learned that hitting the bell means you'll get notifications when we put up a new video so you probably want to do that and we'll see you next time on season two episode two of the city